three very good reasons to sell your home in the off season. Now, first of all, what is the off season? I don't think we should ever use that language, but that is the common stereotypical language for fall and winter. The general assumption in almost every market is that most homes sell, people buy and sell in spring and summer. Not as true for areas with more mild climates, right? So I'm in Texas, most of my expertise is rooted here. It applies lots of places, but we don't have these really harsh falls at all. And occasionally we have one week of harsh winter. So ultimately, even in areas where there are harsh winters, there are advantages and reasons that you might sell in the off season. Here are three of them. Number one, almost nobody else is. And what I mean by that is there's very, very little competition because most of the other sellers or potential sellers are following that traditional wisdom, that stereotypical info that says, don't sell right now, wait till spring or summer. Simplest form of that is you now have whatever buyers are in the market and they have fewer to choose from, which means you have a little bit more leverage. That's always a good thing for a seller. Reason number two, serious buyers are in the market at the end of the year, in the quote off season, at the very beginning of the year, when it's cold outside, during the holidays, fall and winter, typically because of that stereotypical information, most people are thinking about buying spring and summer, but the people that are still buying fall and winter are highly motivated, maybe by a deadline, maybe by just their timing of things, maybe just flat out by their desire. But if they are actively in the market in the fourth and first quarters, they tend to be high quality buyers and you don't have the looky loos that come to the open house, that knock on the door, that come see the home without any ability or really intention of buying. And then the third one might sound redundant, but it's different. And that is urgency. There are people that need to get in by the end of the year or they want to be in before Christmas. You know, they haven't gotten it done yet. They haven't found something they wanted or they weren't ready yet or whatever the case is, their home didn't sell. But that these are some of the biggest deadlines, the biggest time sensitive items that cause people to be in a big rush and make really decisive, quick, definitive decisions. Maybe it's a tax reason by the end of the year. Maybe they're moving to a new job. Maybe the kids are out of school. There's lots of reasons during fall and winter that people have a time sensitive move date. Now, in spring and summer, people will say we'd like to move this summer. Sometimes that's because of the kids school. But there's actually less real true time urgency then. So there's sort of three of the big ones. There are other reasons to sell and maybe buy during the off season. And I would encourage you not to think about it as the off season at all. If you have reasons, let me know in the comments. If you have questions we didn't address, let me know that in the comments. We'll talk to you on the next one.